My husband disappeared for two days. Today, he showed up at home and told me he was arrested and registered for his crimes. My 25F husband 31M and I have been together five years, married for two and from the outside we have the perfect life. We have the house, the yard, good jobs with benefits, two lovely pets and a supportive circle of friends. We share the same hobbies, and goals and I swore this was the man I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Recently he after disappearing for two days shows up and tells me he got arrested for trying to meet up with a minor, but it turned out to be a sting and suddenly everything went wrong. I all but lost my mind worrying for him and then he destroys my world with this revelation. The trial went on for a whole year and has culminated in that now he has to register for life as a significant other. Throughout it all. He has been withholding information from me and all the information I've found out has been through searching his computer and police reports and piecing things together myself. He has been begging for forgiveness non-stop and his family is also trying to get me to forgive him. My family has been supporting me as best they can from my home country but they want to pretend that he's not going to have to permanently register with another state if we were to move, can't be left unattended with a minor, and this shame will hang over our heads forever. I can only be grateful that we live in CA, so there wasn't a public notification to our neighbors but I'm absolutely mortified to go outside anymore. Unfortunately for me, I'm an immigrant and therefore a green card holder and so my ability to stay in the country is tied to him. I love my life here, my job, my friends, I feel as if I've made a real home here. I also resent him for destroying the life we've built as we were discussing children and now, I can't fathom the thought of having children with him. I worked through all my emotions and am ready for a divorce, and I really want to be able to build a life here for myself but as it stands, it's very unlikely and so I've been beating myself up that all this work I've put into making this a home for us has been destroyed and I've basically spent the last few nights mourning. I haven't spoken to any of my friends here and I honestly don't know what to do. I'm thinking about quitting my job can't work outside of the CA and just packing up as he can no longer sponsor me once my card expires, and I'll be living here illegally. Sorry for grammar and punctuation mistakes, I'm on my phone edit thank you all, for all the kind words and support. I never could have expected such an outpouring of kindness and advice. I've made an appointment with an immigration attorney and I've made notes of all the important points and questions shared here. I hope to come back with good news, I will keep my hopes tempered but I'm buoyed by all of these comments. Edit 2 I'd kinda feel that I'm at the top of the hot posts lol. I think this is the first time this week that I'm crying happy tears. I'm flattered and I'm so grateful for all of the well wishes and I feel so seen and validated, which is something I've struggled with during this process. Again. Thank you all for taking the time to read what was a moment of indescribable despair and overwhelming sadness and turning this into a story of hope. Thank you. Now for the comments. Commenter 1 Wow. Please tell me you're seeking some support, therapy, anything because it sounds very much like you were also a victim. Not just now, having him lie to you about it all, but from the start of your relationship. Do the Matthew word 20. That's barely an adult. You are an immigrant, and it all leads me to wonder if that power imbalance that you needing him for support and a green card, all of it, was part of this for him. Combined with the age gap, it just raises the red flags for me that even though you weren't legally a minor, you may have been the closest proxy he could find to satisfy his urges. Original poster These thoughts have also crossed my mind, and in the earlier stages I really didn't talk to anyone as I was told I couldn't talk about the case by him as it was ongoing. The pressure did get to me, and I caved to my sister and best friend, and they've been supporting me as best they can. I've also been seeing a therapist and she's been helping me process and work through all of it. Commenter 2 might have changed but I used to have a green card and if you are married longer than 2 years you might be able to keep the green card. By the time this is all through the courts, you might be okay, but best to check with an immigration lawyer. Maybe your circumstances will help you. Best of luck to you and please, divorce this piece of shit. You deserve much better. Original poster thank you I'll ask the lawyer when I meet them. I really want to hope. I really do but I'm so scared. Update I thought it would be fair to provide a mini update as I think I have a better plan than before. First post too long didn't read my husband tried to meet up with a minor L, got caught in a sting operation and is now a tier 3 or significant other and I am an immigrant who had begun building my life with who I thought was the love of my life, but have to pick up the pieces as best I can. I'd like to thank you all for the well wishes and support but also use this time to clarify and ensure that I have no support for his actions and decisions. There were some comments concerned that I was only thinking about me and not the children but to accurately and wholly capture all of the thoughts and feelings that were going through my mind would require a book at that point, and this post started as a rant vent on how unfair a situation that should not have involved me took center stage and I become a casualty. For the record. I think what he did was absolutely monstrous and disgusting and if there was some way for him to spend his life in jail, I'd happily support it. 
Unfortunately for all of us, he was able to waive jail time. I met with the immigration lawyer for a consultation and, like many of you said, he reiterated that his actions should not affect my ability to apply for my 10-year GC I have a 2-year. The call was very short, and the lawyer let me know that the hurdle was passed and if I chose to divorce him or not, I would still be fine. Unfortunately, I can only apply 3 months before this GC expires which would be at the end of October. He then quoted his fees to me which, phew. I have some saving to do. I'm still reaching out searching for cheaper avenues to see if I can be represented but it seems like this will be a waiting saving game which to be honest, I'm not sure I can do. Obviously, I'd love to be able to divorce him immediately but I'm still trying to set up a consult with a divorce family lawyer here to ensure I know all my rights and avenues. Said partner has also forbidden me from notifying my neighbors with children as he is attempting to file an appeal and supposedly, his info will be taken down off the site if there is an ongoing case. His parents have maintained their stance and have not spoken to me since the deliberation, which was hurtful, but my tears have dried up. Needless to say, I've moved into the guest room and have ensured that all my documents are together and safe. I want to ensure I have my GC before I serve the divorce papers, but I also want to ensure that I have somewhere to go savings for an apartment if he chooses to kick me out immediately his name is on the mortgage not mine and he makes 3x what I do. His dad has made it very clear he 1000% supports his son and said something to the effect of your pain is real, but your options are not. So, work it out or go on a plane which was the most sobering message and honestly a catalyst into wanting out as soon as possible. I was told that notifying my friends and neighbors was stupid and I overestimated their need to know care. Two of this life-altering situation boiled down to a binary definitely showed me that they really never cared about how I felt during this and is a sure sign that this is normal for them, in a sense. He has been treating me as if I committed the crime and his poor son was just an innocent bystander which makes me wonder what has been said, but at this point, I don't care anymore. His son has taken the opposite stance and is so apologetic and regretful and he has now realized what he had in this relationship and if he were to lose me. He wouldn't know what to do etc and it's so funny how much someone can change right before your eyes. I love this man with every atom, every fiber of my being and now I'm disgusted every time he so much as looks in my direction. I do not speak to him unless necessary and it's almost as if we don't even live together. A girl can dream, right? I'm not sure if this qualifies as a true update but unlike the first post I have some hope. I hope I will be able to fully remove myself from this situation and rebuild what has been a beautiful life outside of this. I want to save for the lawyer an apartment and also plan to make therapy a regular thing to deal with all the undue stress trauma insomnia this has caused me and will unless I'm threatened with legal action which I don't think they can do let my friends neighbors know in secret to allow them to decide for themselves. I am less afraid of losing my friends as I know I would have liked the knowledge to make the choice if I were in their shoes. Thank you for reading. I hope to have a happier, more positive update later. Added I had written the title based on memory and expounded on what were significant other meant. Sorry about the lack of continuity. Now for the comments. Commenter 1 He needs you and the kids to pull off a family man act to get away with being a pedo. You're being used. Original poster We don't have kids, thank God, and I have no intention of being used. But I appreciate the perspective.